Hello again, everyone. It's time for my second thoughts and review of E3. Sony this time. Now, Microsoft was a bit of a letdown, I guess. But, uh, Sony, they did decently, I'll say. Let's get into this, though. Starts off with PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royal. Had some people on stage playing it. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I gotta say, it's, uh, you know, Smash Bros. ripoff, whatever. And they said it will also have cross-play with Vita and PlayStation 3, similar to 3DS, Wii U, and Smash Bros. Um, they revealed an un- the Uncharted dude will be in the game, and uh, a Big Daddy from... Uh, Crap, I forgot the name. Um, Bioshock, that's the name. Uh, then they talked about cross-controller, just basically the Vita being used as a PlayStation 3 controller, blah, blah, blah. Um, apparently they say the, the PS3 has the best online, which, uh, I don't know, just because it's free, I guess you could say currently, I guess. Um but the Wii U's, uh, if you saw Nintendo Direct, I think it's going to be, you know, top dog for quite some time to come. Um, they said there's going to be 200 more in total indie games on the PlayStation Network. Good for people who like to buy indie games on the PlayStation Network. I don't even get indie games on the Xbox Live. Well, maybe Minecraft is about it. Um... Everyone in the audience, when they left, they got a free one-year PlayStation Premium code or whatever. I'm guessing that's just their uh, kind of bribe to keep people on there instead of Wii U. Um, Don't know if that'll work or not. They said PlayStation 1 Classics will be coming to the Vita for download. Kind of, I guess, like a... The virtual console on the Wii and just being able to download the old good old games from the past. Don't really have a problem with that. YouTube and Hulu Plus coming to the Vita. No, I'm not really too surprised about that. Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified on the Vita comes out this holiday season. Now, I don't care for COD and whatnot, but I'm not sure if this is a different game from Black Ops 2 or just like, you know, a reduced version for the Vita or whatever, but either way, a different COD game. Uh, Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation, which is a Vita exclusive. You play as a female assassin. Um, there's a, uh, an Assassin's Creed 3 they showed for the PlayStation 3. There's going to be a bundle for the PlayStation 3 and the Vita, which comes with that, uh, the Assassin ga- uh, Assassin's Creed game for that system. Uh, as well as exclusive DLC for the Assassin's Creed 3 PlayStation 3 bundle. Uh, then they showed off Far Cry 3. Uh, I played Far Cry 1 on the Wii, I believe it was, and I really liked it. Never touched uh, number 2. They showed off 4-player co-op on it. Uh, free, Far, free Far Cry 3 DLC. And then they got into PlayStation Move and just a whole bunch of casual stuff, just like Microsoft going after Nintendo's uh, casual players. They showed off a thing called Wonder Book. Now, while this is an interesting idea, it's completely stupid, in my opinion. What it is, is basically, you would buy a book, um, and it shows on your TV, like, augmented reality, whatnot, and such, popping out of the books, and it tells a story, it's like storybooks. And the one they showed off was, uh, called Book of Spells, which is basically a Harry Potter book, you can learn spells, whatnot. Um, <laughs> I don't even know if, you know, 10-year-old kids would even give a damn about it anymore. If this came out back in, like, the 90s, then this would be one of the best, you know, things out there. But who wants to go out and buy a book to play a video game nowadays? Uh, I just don't see that catching on at all. Um, talked a bit about Moonbot working on uh, a Wonder Book game, which, I'm going to be honest, i never heard of Moonbot. Um, the Book of Spells, I already talked about that. Uh, They spent a long time, actually, showing off the Book of Spells. Probably, like, 15 to almost 20 minutes. Um, PlayStation Suite uh, to smartphones and whatnot. HTC phones will be the first to get uh, 
PlayStation 3 stuff on it. They changed the PlayStation Suite name to PlayStation Mobile. I don't really care, whatever. Uh, God of War 3 was the last... Uh, well, near the end of the show, what they showed off. Uh, it was kind of repetitive, fighting the low-level enemies, seeing as seemed like the only way to kill them was to grab their head and rip it off, and then grab their head, rip it off, grab their head, rip it off. I was kind of hoping there would be, like, you know, multiple different fatalities or finishers, whatever you want to call them. Um, at one point, he rewinds time, Kratos, that is, which was kind of interesting. Uh, I spent a lot of time with God of War 3, probably about, I don't know, 12 minutes to 15 almost. Um, then they showed off The Last of Us, which was the end of their show. They got people excited for that. Um, it's cool, but... I don't know, nothing, not something I would personally be interested in. It's pretty, kind of a, I don't want to say brutal game, but just, like, one point when the guy is smashing a guy's head into the freaking desk over and over again. Uh, it got me thinking, if this is what people call a hardcore game and what they want as a game, then I, I would just rather say I'll stick with Mario any day of the week than playing this <coughs> hardcore game. Um... Yeah. No PlayStation 4 was announced, just like the Xbox 720 or Xbox 8, whatever you want to call it. Wasn't mentioned, wasn't hinted at, wasn't teased, nothing like I thought it wouldn't be. Um, yeah, and that was about their show. So, um, yeah, my final rating I'll give E3 for uh, Sony this year. Believe it or not, even though I'm not a big fan of Sony, uh, in fact I'm not a fan at all, I'm actually going to give them a bit of a better rating than Microsoft, and I am going to give them a 6 out of 10 um, instead of Microsoft's, which was 5 out of 10. Now, that's still not very good of a rating, 6 out of 10, but just because I was intrigued that they managed to come up with Wonder Book, which is, you know, an interesting new idea besides, the, you know, augmented reality from the 3DS, but just, you know, a, bringing a book, it was an idea that was interesting, but even though it was pointless. So that's why I didn't give them too much points on that. Um, and they didn't waste time with pointless stuff like Usher dancing on stage. There was none of that. So, yeah. Uh, I'll wrap up this one and stay tuned for Nintendo's E3 tomorrow. And I'll do my thoughts and review then. Oh boy, I can't wait. It's going to be a good one. And see you then.